how do I deploy my custom web component to npm js like how I can reuse my custom web component in different applications such as in angular such as in react right so this is the uh, last part you can see where we'll understand about this deployment practically how we can do this and how we can reuse this so first thing what you should have you should have uh, right the web component created with yourself if you do not have you can directly uh, get this code from the github location link is in your description in this series stencil tutorial so far we have seen how do we actually create the web component how we can achieve the two-way data binding concept how i can, I can uh, you know make a http request call how, how can uh, we do the communication between the multiple component component this is something we have achieved now let's deploy now deployment will take place in a few of the steps here are the steps the first one is that you should have account created at npmjs.com like you have you must have seen in a react application angular application at top we write import and then the package name so they have actually imported the package at somewhere and the location is npmjs.com similarly we have to export our package at this location so that this can be reused by multiple locations so the first thing is you should create your account after account creation once you sign up is done it is really important that you verify your email address and that is really important because only after that you would be able to publish the packages right okay i have already created my account at uh, npmjs.com and uh, i have verified my email address as well now next is that we should have some component created with us we already have this component and that is in the running state so i have verified this now next is npm run build okay so before i run this npm run build we have to go to this package.json file and it is important that this is the name you have to define your package so cl2 let me uh, rename it kind of coding locker stencil demo project so this is your package name and similarly you can define the version as well for your package this these are the just two changes you have to make in the package.json file and once this is done uh, first of all control c so that we can terminate the current session then npm run build so what it will do it will just create the artifacts at the disk folder let me pause and we'll resume once this is done okay that is done now let's see what we have next we have to log into npm okay let me log in npm login so here we need to provide our credentials which we have just um, uh, created at npmjs.com so let it ask for the username and let me enter my passwords as well and should ask for the email address okay we have successfully logged into the uh, account uh, to this npm the next is npm publish so let me write npm publish so it would publish our package in a couple of seconds let's wait it is still publishing let it publish 44 files it would be exporting yeah it has created now copy this name and that is all we are done let's check this at search we should have our package created here if all the steps are correct yes we have the package see this is public this is the version which we have defined here mit license this is like it says freely it can be used anywhere and uh, it was last published published at a few seconds ago so this is something how we can actually export our package to npmjs.com and once this is uh, done we we can just simply now uh, import this package and use in our different application with these steps so let me uh, pause this video here and continue the next part uh, i don't want to make it a little long uh, large videos so let's uh, see you in the next part thank you for being at coding locker guys if you guys have any query for this part please uh, ping me i'll be happy to answer you